civility. What do you think of politeness, courtesy, overall good behavior? Fresno County educators believe all of these traits are a good foundation for student success. Some would say that this country is experiencing a lack of civility. Ashton Kutcher needs to get hit by a bus. From social media. It's up to you to judge, my friend. To the halls of Congress. Well, we can see just uh, erosion in, in uh, civility and manners and just overall uh, decency. Cedric Hardiman is with the Intervention and Prevention Department of the Fresno County Office of Education. And he says this trend is impacting students. All Although we uh, profess um, civility and decency and equity, uh, when the uh, youngsters see the landscape, the, the gradient uh, uh, in respect to those uh, areas, they don't match up. So they're smart enough to see the hypocrisy. Teaching civility, leadership, and service skills are part of what Hardeman's department does. And this summer, the program was taken to a new level. Really what this is really about is learning how to be a decent person. 50 students from schools throughout the county gathered at Fresno State to participate in the CHIPS program. CHIPS standing for character, honor, integrity, perseverance, and service. And while it may not seem like it, this is all tied to keeping kids connected and in school. Civility is key. We have kids in today's high school classrooms and in middle school classrooms also, they will not ask a question for the fear of being made fun of, of being shamed. In what were some pretty up close and personal sessions, students were taught skills to help them speak up. How are you asking a question from class, Miss? Respect themselves. You believe in yourself that you can. Stand for something. If somebody says you look like you're a decent person, they can't give you a better compliment. Do you understand that? One, two, three, four. And they were taught how to step out of their comfort zones, try something new. More importantly, this was about hard work and planning their futures. By any chance, have you guys consider which university you want to attend? The program had a huge impact on students like 16-year-old Kaylin Craig, who admits he initially signed up because he thought it would look good on his college resume. This actually made, motivated me more to join more teams and leadership stuff, so now I'm going to go back and join the welding team. I'm going to help like um, all the people like at school, like all the freshmen that are going to need help on the campus. 14-year-old Claudia Luna says she was motivated to step outside her comfort zone. Everything's changed from your service. I am out there helping elderly now. I never thought of doing that, but I'm doing it. You know, I'm a kid that grew up in West Fresno. Since becoming superintendent, Jim Yovino has been on a mission to teach students there is nothing wrong with being kind and serving others. He says this program is planting the seed. I believe it's like one child at a time. It's what I just told them. You are our ambassadors now. So you're 50 that get to go back and influence 5,000. This was the first year for the CHIP summer program, and by all accounts, the program accomplished its goal. For Education Matters, I'm Juanita Stevenson, KC24, local news that matters.